I want to talk about how to write and sell 100 Medicare policies, okay? And I'm going to break it down into three steps today because everything we do, it's always about steps, it's always about purpose, it's always about specific details for you to be able to do what you want, right? I always believe in breaking things, every, every, everything down with scripts, systems, processes, steps, because I feel like systems and steps are duplicatable, repeatable. And the purpose is for you to ask a question, me to train on it, me to coach on it, me to address it, and then you be able to actually apply it, right? So today is what we're going to talk about how to write a hundred, okay? So the first thing is do the math. You guys know I'm big on numbers, so let's look, okay? Let's look from October 15th through December 7th. You've got one, two, three, four, nine, 13. Okay, you got 13 days in October. And I'm looking at business days, right? This can easily be, uh, you can easily sell on the weekends, okay? I'm looking at specifics though. Then you've got 21 in November. Okay, and then how many do we have in, and I'm looking at just business days and I'm not guessing, but I'm uh, grabbing several, okay? Then you got another five, okay? So if you add these together, you got 39, how about that quick math? 39 business days. So let's do the math, okay? So to do the math, you need, if you take 100 divided by 39, you can need about two and a half, right? Two, two and a half per day. So how do you write two and a half per day? Well, a lot of times because of this season, a lot of times you can actually sit and, and get one appointment and get multiple policies, okay? So one thing you could do is you, got, you, you, you can't forget that you're gonna get some, 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 some duo cells as we'll call them today, okay? Some duo cells. You also can't forget that, you know what? Hey, you may get some referrals. So I actually believe that for this to become a reality, you need to sit with so many people, okay? Because that's something we talk about a lot is doing the math, okay? So there's the math. There's the math, 39 business days. Most people don't know this stuff, but right? When you have a target and a goal, some people's goals are bigger, but it's cool to say, I'm gonna write 200 Medicare policies during this time of the year. But if you don't have a plan, if you don't have an actual strategy for it, then who cares, right? That's why. When you do the math, it becomes easier to hit a goal or a target or, or to make that vision a reality. That's why I love breaking stuff down. The second step, okay, on how to write 100 is you got to, uh, you got to pick strategies. There are several strategies and ways to get in front of people during this time, okay? Client list is always a no-brainer, always a no-brainer. If, if you've got a prospect list, client list, Right, you might as well leverage that. Also, you can get some referrals. You can send out mail, right? You can speak at local senior centers and events and seminars and that kind of stuff, right? You can host events, okay? Because that's always a great way. There's a lot of traction that can come from that. You could host one event and write them all from one event. If it was the right type of event and it was big enough, right? That's why I think events, events are always big. I love events. Especially if I, can, if I know how to get people at to the event, right? That's when I love events. You can also do leads, whether it be new or aged. Also, you can cold call, right? I'm not saying you're in a cold call about Medicare Advantage. You're cold calling about Medicare or dental or something else, right? and then move into that other avenue, right? Also, warm market. That's one of the biggest things that I always talk about with stuff like this, is you gotta think outside the box, you gotta get creative, right? You could also network. The big thing is you need some type, something I talk a lot about, an attack list. Anytime I wanna sell a certain amount of anything, I always create an attack list, right? We're talking about rolling out a media company, a tack list. We're talking about having a massive day in lead sales. We're gonna have, we'll do, we'll, Dylan, we'll, we'll, we're on pace to do like $40,000 in leads today because we set, we did the math, we created a tack list, and we knew, figured out what we need to do to make that a reality, right? There's a lot of different ways to go about this, but people that are successful and they put forth the steps and they achieve them, they typically have some type of a tack list 
to where they know what to do when, okay? So there's several strategies because there's a lot of different ways and strategies to be successful in this business. Here's a few different ones, okay? I'm not saying you gotta do them all, but maybe you're like, I'm gonna do some events, I'm gonna work my clients, and I'm gonna get some new leads, okay? And then maybe the rest of it's out. Maybe you're warm market too, because that's kind of like some low hanging fruit. You might as well. I mean, it's freaking Medicare. They need help, right? They need help. Okay. There's four ways, but, but maybe you're like, I'm going to ask my client for referrals. I'm going to send out a piece of mail to all my clients, whatever there, there, you can end up doing almost all of these just by thinking outside the box and getting in front of people. I'm telling you, this is easy during AEP. This is easy to create a couple grand a month in residual income. How do you do this? during AEP. Well, most of you probably didn't think about some of these other ways that you could do it. You can cold call, you can freaking door knock, right? Hey, I'm I want to talk to you about your Medicare, uh, your Medicare supplement. Oh, I don't have a Medicare supplement. Okay. Let's schedule a time for me to come back. Whatever. Right. I'm not saying I'm the compliance officer. I'm here to give you ideas. Okay. Clients, referrals, mail, speak, events, leads, new and aged networking, door knocking, cold call, warm market. There's a lot of different ways. I know individuals that from events, that will in two days will sell 90 Medicare policies from two Medicare events, just two. Okay. So there's a lot of different ways to be successful by doing this. And this is always a good way. The third thing is, Hey, I need to, I need, I need to figure out how many appointments do I need per week? Right? Well, you're probably during this time, if they're specific to Medicare, then you probably need to sit with at least 15 plus per week. Okay. Because two and a half, 2.5 times five, if we're just looking at business days, I'm not saying we have to, that's 12 and a half cells per week, okay? But if you sit with 15 and they're all on Medicare and you're trying to help them all, you can probably do more than that because you got to remember there's duo cells in that. You'll probably, if you sit with 15, you actually sit with 15, which isn't easy. If you actually sit with 15, okay? then you'll probably end up being able to help probably and actually sell probably 10 of them. But I bet half of those will be duos probably. So then you just added on another five cells. So then guess what? Your total is 15. Okay. Which is then you're going to end up with more. You're going to end up about 125 or so for the entire AEP season. So that's the big thing with everything we do. And I'm gonna get to some questions Dylan and see if they have any in just a second. But the big thing is, What's the target, right? Do the math. You need to know most of you didn't know that, right? That's a freaking problem. Okay. Pick some strategies. What does it look like? How do we attack it? How do we go for it? How do we get it? Right. And we need to sit with 15 plus a week. So how do we make that a reality every single week? 15, 15, 15, 15 plus maybe 20. I'm, I'm, I'm right. I'm not gonna hold you back. If you, if you think, I, if you think I need to sit with 40 a week, then sit with 40 a week, map out a plan. There's tons of people that sit with 40 people a week during AEP. Okay. Dylan, any thoughts or questions? Um, we share help just said this is going to be great. Thank you. Um, You're welcome. Thank you. We share health. Thank you for sharing your health. Right. Okay. Sarah Palacios just says, Hey Cody, hello from Minnesota. What's up, Sarah? Hope uh, Minnesota is treating you well. Okay. Uh, Vikings looked good yesterday. Is she from Minnesota? Uh, I don't know. Oh. I actually don't know that. <laughs> I was curious though. I didn't think she was, but you made me think she is. Yeah. So. Um, Lana McCarter just said hello from jury duty. Boom. She's sitting there, sitting there tr trying somebody on the, on the stand and he's, he's watching us. I like it. Uh, Reg guilty, Landon. Guilty, right? Just guilty. Reg Reginald Smith. Are you mic'd up? No. Okay. Reg Reginald Smith said, uh, uh hello, Cody from Virginia. Hello, Cody from Virginia. What's up, brother? Hope you're doing well, man. Brother Reg, I'm gonna call you. How about that? But uh, we'll see if we're on a little bit of delay, so we'll see yeah. some questions rolling. Boom, I love it. At the end of the day, you need to know what your plan is. And I'm telling you, this time is a it can be a massive time for you, but you gotta do the math, you gotta pick some strategies, and you have to create an attack list. If you're part of our success society, Sarah is and several others are, we're gonna be talking about how to maximize your time and get in front of people during AEP. Okay. I don't care what type of policies you're selling. You can sell anything during AEP. So we're going to talk about that at four o'clock in success society. If you want to be a part of that call for free, 
and be in Success Society for 30 days for free, email andy at codyaskins.com. A-N-D-Y at codyaskins.com. What do you got? Uh, Doug Engel says, Doug. what is the general verbiage of a Medicare lead? What is the general verbiage of a Medicare lead? Yeah, so it's someone that is expressing uh, help with saving money on their Medicare plan. But a lot of times they'll respond to that and they may just have some questions on the changes. They may have questions on plan types. They may need help with their prescription drugs. Maybe they want more coverage. Maybe they want less coverage. Maybe they want to pay you know, more. Maybe they want to pay less, whatever. Um, and so in general, the purpose of a general Medicare lead, Doug, is to find someone that has interest in receiving assistance with their Medicare. And then it's that agent's job to go get in front of them or help them over the phone, okay? Uh, Vivian Gary. Vivian. Wanted to say thank you for these videos. Did I miss the part where you said how many presentations a week that sh you should be doing, or it's just activity to get those amount of apps? Thanks for the uh, thanks. To, she said thanks for the question. Thanks for uh, everything you do, and 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 I want to see the activity numbers. How many need to, you know, how many need the specific activity numbers? I mean, the big thing is you've got to figure out if you've got you know. 50 clients, you can automatically sit with all those, okay? Because over the course of those 39 days, you need to be, you need to end up sitting 39 times at least three a day, right? At least three a day is, uh, what's that, 117, okay? Total appointments or total sits over the course of those 39 business days. I'm not saying you can't sit on Saturday and Sundays, but the big thing is do the math, pick some strategies to, of how to get in front. Most, most people forget about events, big one. Most people forget about new leads in our office, easy one. Most people forget about warm market, oh, no brainer. We don't forget about clients typically, but we forget about other stuff, okay? And then you have to sit with at least 15 a week. That's, that's the goal. Uh, you'll probably have to set, I mean, people are, I don't think people are going to stand you up during this time. They're like begging for help. So, I mean, 20 appointments, you know, set 20, sit with 15, sell, sell gosh, 10 to 15, truthfully. So, it's like, uh, it's literally like you're selling Candy to Cody Askins because I freaking love candy. It ain't, it ain't hard, right? Uh, what, what, what else we got, Dylan? Um, Especially sour candy. Reginald Smith just said, what was the email address again? I'm assuming he's meaning Success Society. Yep, Success Society. I'll give you a 30-day free trial if you're watching now. Email andy at codyaskins.com. A-N-D-Y at my first and last name. Andy at codyaskins.com. Thanks for asking, but Reggie. Thanks. Appreciate it, buddy. Any other thoughts or questions? Yeah. I'm new to the business. What is the average time when you sit with someone? I'm new to the business. What's the average time when you sit with someone? In Medicare season, an hour, four, 45 minutes, an hour. There's some agents that try, I mean, some, some may be longer, some may be shorter. Some agents would prefer to get them all done in 40 minutes, but it's not always going to happen. I mean, the big thing is with this kind of stuff, if they're already a client, you, don't, you may not have to do as much warming up. If they aren't a client and they're a stranger, I would still go through the appointment process and warm them up and ask questions and get to know them. Um, Hour 15, you know, if, if it's cold. That's pretty much it on my end. Hey, we're here to help. What our job is, is to help you write. If, you're, if, if this is what you want to do, maybe you want to write 100 Medicare policies during AEP. I don't care what it is. Our job is to help you. And I don't care if, 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 if you sell, you know, if you sell cancer plans. Do the math, pick some strategies, and then go sit with people, right? At the end of the day, you can make anything a reality. It all goes back to having a tech list, doing the math, the simple things, right? Most people overcomplicate this business. Most people fail because they don't get sit in front of enough people, which is why we've created 8% Nation to help agents succeed. Welcome to Nutrients Agent Training. Thanks for being here. Have a great rest of your week. And also, give me a favor and call in to our office and grab some leads. 833, massive sell, almost 10 bucks off a piece. Almost, huge deal. 833-40-AGENT. Let's do it. Have a great week. Appreciate you guys. Hey, if you love this, you'll love how to do a presentation for insurance agents. There's a couple pieces of this video that I've never talked about before. It's right here, click on it, you'll love it. Hey, almost every insurance agent I know struggles with objections, specifically what to do and how to improve your closing ability. So I'm gonna talk through several different things, okay? I always talk about 